hi guys welcome back now we are going to see the next step uh, we have to initialize the power management unit which is going to take care of uh, the devices sleeping process and all the stuff for example if uh, our device is not being used or it's not using the radio that is uh, uh, bluetooth uh, then it's going to go into the sleep mode and uh, once uh, it's uh, using some stuff then it will wake up and uh, perform the stuff so by this way we save a lot of energy and uh, we save uh, the battery uh, so that's what that's how it's called the BLE the Bluetooth low energy and uh, it uses a uh, uh, different techniques uh, to save as much power as possible so right now we have to include the uh, initialize the power management unit and uh, uh, we will have to create uh, some functions uh, to handle this type of stuff it's really easy uh, so let's start it for the power management we have to include a file so you have to include this had header file nrfpwrmgmt.h file so this is uh, going to be uh, the header file for the power management and uh, let's say the step four let's create a function which is going to initialize the power management so for that let's call uh, let's create a simple function and the uh, same procedure we have to use a variable for holding the error value and finally we will just use a uh, app error check and after this we have to create uh, a simple idle state handle function uh, it will see if uh, uh, our logger has uh, sent the data or is there some data on the logger that needs to be sent before the device goes into the sleep mode we have uh, seen in the previous tutorial that uh, we have uh, checked uh, the deferred mode so whenever the device is going into the sleep mode it means uh, it's uh, free and uh, the processor is not being used so in that time it's going to uh, transmit the logger data uh, before sleeping and after transmitting the data it's going to go into the sleep mode mm -hmm. so for that we have a, for a simple function that is called idle state handle and that is going to be the part of step number four but we will have to write it uh, below the step number four uh, we can write it here or here wherever you like it i'm just going to write it here So here I'm just simply uh, checking if uh, the logger uh, has uh, finished all of its uh, processing. For example, its buffers are free and uh, it has uh, sent all the data on uh, the UART or RTT uh, window. So now the logger has finished the process. Uh, once it has finished the process, uh, uh, it's going to be false. And uh, if it's false, then... Uh, the power management can run and once the power management is uh, has started running it will see if uh, nothing is being used then it will put the processor into sleep mode so basically we will use this idle state handle in this uh, forever loop so we can just put it here For the beginners who don't know about uh, the forever loop uh, is uh, can also be done like this. Uh, for example, normally we see uh, the while loop, while and one. Uh, we can also use that or we can use this. Uh, the, both, are, uh, sim both have the similar function. It's just a forever loop. So in the main function, it will just uh, uh, run the power management and the uh, power management will keep on watching if... Uh, uh, the device is free then it's gonna go into the sleep state 
and if the device is being used then the power management will not interrupt it and uh, our device is a uh, key our device keeps on working whatever it's working on that's it for the power management and uh, the idle state handle thank you very much for watching see you in the next video